morning there's nothing like waking up to get messages that someone across the ocean in china has been trying to steal your identity hopefully changing my password worked but i refuse to let them get me down today because today is going to be a great day why because it's time to introduce you to shy girl adventures so let's go Hey adventurers, it is August 31st, 2017, the very last day of August, <laughs> and I'm at the beach. What's up with this? Normally this time of year, I'm in the classroom, covered in dust and dirt, getting ready for the next school year, but this year I'm shaking it up a little bit. I'll explain more about that later. First, let me explain to you who I am. I'm Jen Luzon. Apparently I have some friends behind me <laughs> that want to be in the shot. Um, I am from Chicago originally, born and raised in Hyde Park. Hey, what up to all my Hyde Parkers? And now, I'm living somewhere else. I'll get into that a little bit later. What I want to tell you about today is the project that I have been planning for the last five months. That's right, five months. I've been scheming and plotting and dreaming, and finally Shy Girl Adventures was born. And I cannot wait to show you guys all the adventures that I've already been on in anticipation of you and this channel. But in the meantime, let me tell you about why I have this channel. This is my way to welcome you to my story, to my journey, to my wacky adventure that I call life. I hope you're ready for this ride, because it's gonna be a Thinking about what the perfect backdrop would be for this video, I thought Lake Michigan, of course. It's the obvious choice. It's one of Chicago's most prized landmarks. The only problem is, I'm on the wrong side of Lake Michigan. Look at this. And this right here tells us exactly where we are. That's Grand Haven's Lighthouse. So I'm on the right lake, but I'm on the wrong side. So that brings me to the story behind this channel and why we're here. You know all the therapeutic exercises you keep hearing about? You know the ones. They're so, so, so enticing. They sound too good to be true. Life-changing in fact, right? Yeah, they're so life-changing, in fact, that you can't even get it together enough to get it started, right? You feel me. Me and journaling. Mm -hmm. I have wanted to be someone that journals for as long as I can remember. When I was a kid, I used to collect journals thinking that someday I'll feel up to writing in them. And they sit there and collect dust. My poor husband even bought me a journal. It was one of the gifts he gave me before we got married. And wrote this beautiful poem in it telling me how much he couldn't wait to see me write in it. I feel terrible, but I have not written not a thing in that journal yet. I know journaling has been around forever. It's even made what I consider more of a public comeback since Sex in the City, am I right? Journaling is known to be such a therapeutic exercise that it's even a reoccurring theme in one of my favorite podcasts, The Friend Zone. What's up, Dustin, Fran, and Asante? Love you guys. So why am I having such a hard time with journaling? Seriously, what gives? Are all of you journalists, people that journal, what are you doing that I'm not? How do you get yourself to be motivated enough to write some words on some paper? Now at this point you might be saying, shy girl, who cares? Why are you so obsessed about journaling? Except some stuff went down. Let me explain. My life did a complete 180. This Chicago girl went through almost every big life change you could think of in three short years. Let's see, I planned a wedding an out-of-state wedding. I quit a job that I adored. I left my beloved Chicago and I moved to a small beach town in Michigan. I married an amazing guy, Larry, and I became a stepmom to two great kids, Reese and Noah. Our family dog died. Then I had to apply and look for a new teaching job. Bought my first home, that was huge. The worst part of the three years, and then I'm sorry if I tear up, but my wonderful dad passed away from Alzheimer's after a really hard battle, and that was really shitty. <laughs> then I got a puppy, and I named her Watson after my dad. So that was a positive part of that whole tragedy. And then, to round off the three years, to top it off, I turned 40. That's right, Shy Girl is 40 and it has not quite sunken in yet. <laughs> now do you see why I need to journal? 
hella emotional times here, peeps. Hella emotional times. So my solution, with a little coercion from a friend, was to vlog. So here we are. Vlogging's kind of like journaling, right? But instead of writing all my emotions down and what's going on, I can just turn my phone on and record them. It's a hell of a lot easier, let me tell you. Here are just a few clips of some of the adventures that are coming your way. Okay, so I took a detour with my friends and I'm at K Tronada, which I don't know who the heck that is. So anyway, find out if we like chicken picante, otherwise known as K Tronada. Yes, one more! Besides surrender or be slaughtered. It's the middle of the day, friends, and we're totally dark. Let me show you. This is awesome. Are you so jealous? Look at this. Hold it with one hand and let it go on the floor. Oh, it's Chitlins are. They're giving mama's bunny. Ah, she's licking my bunny. Oh my god, Oh my god, Oh my god, name was that? Was that with a booger in its finger? You got boogers in your fingers. What? So, two big announcements. The first was the start of this channel, Shy Girl Adventures. And the second is that I'm taking an entire year off from full-time teaching to travel when possible, to figure out what this channel can do, and to give you all of my creative energies. 
and to embrace the second chapter of my life, which I like to call the golden years. Makes me think of the golden girls. They had a lot of fun in their last chapter, didn't they? So if you guys could do me a tiny little favor and go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. I don't want you to miss any of the adventures that are coming your way. I post new videos every Thursday evening and I'm also on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. So you can follow me on those as well. The links are below, right next to that subscribe button in fact. So this is Shy Girl signing off and I cannot wait for you to join me in the next